In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up and run your first React Native app using Windows operating system. So let's get started. First of all, we need to install Node and JDK which are recommended by the official React Native documentation. Now if you have already installed Node on your system, make sure it is Node version 16 or above. And for JDK, they are recommending JDK version 11. So let's go ahead and in order to make the installation of Node and JDK easier, we'll be using Chocolaty, a powerful command line installer for Windows. So let's click on it and here we can install this tool by using the command provided. So let's open your Windows PowerShell in administrative mode and paste the following command that you have just copied here. It will simply install the Choco package for us that we can use to install Node and JDK. So once it is installed, we can proceed forward. So finally Chocolaty has been installed. We can now install Node and JDK very easily. So just copy and paste the command provided in the official docs and it will install Node and JDK for you. So it is using the Choco package that we have just installed and now we can easily install Node and JDK from the command line without visiting any website. Now that we have Node and JDK installed, next we need to set up Android Studio. So first of all download and install Android Studio. Once it is installed, next we need few more things to set up. For that just launch your Android Studio and click on more actions and SDK Manager. Select the SDK Platforms tab, then click the checkbox next to show package details in the bottom right corner. Look for and expand the Android 13, then make sure the following items are checked, which includes Android SDK Platform 33 and Intel x86 Atom 64 system image. Next select the SDK Tools tab and check the box next to show package details here as well. Look for and expand the Android SDK build tools then make sure that 33.0.0 is selected. Finally click apply to download and install the Android SDK and all related build tools. After that we need to configure the Android home environment variables. So for this just open the windows control panel, click on user accounts, then click user accounts again, click on change my environment variables, click on new to create a new Android home user variable that points to the part to your Android SDK. Just grab your Android SDK location from Android Studio and paste it over here. Click apply and OK. Finally we also need to add platform tools to path. For that open the windows control panel again. Click on user accounts then click user accounts again. Click on change my environment variables. Select the path variable. Click edit. Click new and add the path to platform tools to the list. You can find the location at your Android folder forward slash SDK and platforms tool. Now that everything is set up, it's time to create our very first React Native CLI project. So just navigate to some folder and open the terminal inside it. And in the terminal type the command as npx react native in it and the name of your project. You can name it to anything. After that just hit enter. Now it is busy creating react native app for us. Once it is done, 
Just open your newly created app in VS Code. Now if you have not installed VS Code already, just search VS Code in your browser for VS Code installation. Click the first link and get Microsoft Visual Studio Code for Windows. Now that we have our React Native app created, it's time to run it. So here we have two options. You can either use your physical device or virtual emulator. For an emulator, you can create a new one from the Android Studio app. But for this video, I am going to test it using my physical device. So for that, we need to open developer mode in our phone from settings and enable USB debugging. Then we can connect our phone with laptop or PC using a cable. And finally, we can run every devices to check whether our device is showing up here or not. And if it is, then we can just enter the command as npm start or npm run android to launch our app on our physical device. So as you can see I have successfully launched my application on my physical device. So this is the default app that React Native provides and it is amazing. So guys this is how easy it is to install and set up React Native CLI in Windows. I hope you found this video helpful. For more videos please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon next to it. At last I want to mention that if you want to see how to install Flutter in Windows check out this video.